Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the first episode of the Grimsby Town Road to Glory Career Mode. I am very, very excited to be going through a whole career mode uh, here with you on this channel. Of course, last time in FIFA 16, I just started up. I went in with Madeira. I'd missed the opening few games. It was difficult to, to get stuff out. It wasn't in HD. It was sort of just it was live streamed on a on a Friday and stuff. This time, it's solely on YouTube. This one, I, I will be live streaming other stuff, FIFA related, FIFA 17. But you know, this is just going to be for you on YouTube. It's going to be hopefully it's going to be a really good series, and we're going to take Grimsby from the bottom to the top. We need to set things up first of all, which is what we're going to do now. Now, as we are starting at the bottom, I am going to take the the benefits. I'm going to take the five percent increase, and I'm going to take the global scout because we need to sort of, you know, bring through players for Grimsby in the future, and sort of any bonus that we can take is um, is going to be needed. So we'll scroll through. These are obviously the teams we're facing in League Two for this season, and you can you can get an idea already of what what we're going to install, low domestic success, they're not expecting much of us, which is good, but obviously I'm expecting a lot of myself, brand exposure low, obviously continent success, we're not in, the, we're not in Europe, uh, financial success medium, so that's going to be, we have to raise some money properly, which may make things a little bit difficult, and uh, youth development low as well, but I will be looking to bring through quite a few youngsters, um, so we'll advance through with that, obviously we've got to choose um, our manager, so there we go, Gary Baradell from England in his shirt and tie is going to be taking part, taking part, taking charge of Grimsby Town from now on. Um, we will be playing in world class, uh, six minutes half length Sterling. For maximum realness for the series, we will um, rename the stadium from Town Park to Blundell Park. Mm, we will apply with that and exit. We will download the latest squads. We will have European competition. Obviously, we won't be in Europe. Um, seeded teams. I can't bother to go through and make it realistic, but. Um, oops, no. Um, confirm changes. There we go. And uh, first time, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it on because I want to bring in a few of my own players straight away. I think. Hopefully, the squad is going to be good enough to get us out of the league anyway, but we want to obviously bring in some of our own players as well. Um, we'll just let it download the updates. Okay, now so it's all set up. We uh, obviously have the pre-season tournament invite, and I am going to do the pre-season tournament and probably play the games because I like to get an idea of what my team's all about. So we are going to do. We want as much money as we can get. So that one's tougher, but less money. Why would I go in that one? Let's, uh, we're going to go for this group, I think. Yeah. 1.3 million. That'd be a great little learner for us to help us out. Advance through. Okay, so straight away we're going to go to the office, see what uh, they're saying to us. Uh, Connor, uh, that's a great start. The torn hip flexor, right? There's a chance you might be ready for the first quarter of the season. Right, not really what we wanted to see. First email is one of our players is injured. Not great. Uh, introducing yourself, George Harris. One of our scouts, good, we'll get them out scouting soon. First scout report, I'll have a look at that in a second. Our visions and expectations, um, that of course is now within an, a separate objectives tab, which we'll go into and have a look. Transfer information and uh, notes about the cup as well. So now we're going to see what they want from us for this season. So, start off, youth development, which is low. We've got to sign one player in your youth academy assigned to the defender position. OK, so sign a youth defender, basically. Uh, and sign one youth player to the senior team in the same season they were scouted. Play them in five matches as part of the starting 11 and coming as a sub. Pretty easy expectations, I think. I think we can do that fairly easily, but it's a low priority, so we're not going to get sacked over it. Brand exposure. Within three seasons, increased tickets, season ticket holders with at least 10% of the stadium's capacity. OK, so that's a long-term objective for us. Again, hopefully we're getting people through the... Uh, through the turnstiles as we go on. This is the medium one, this is the highest one. Um, they want to keep player salary growth under 20%. Now that could be difficult as we try and bring in better players to the club. 
Um, so we're going to have to be careful of who we sign and their and their wage. That's going to be the um, the first thing we look at, really. Um, so the domestic success, what they want us to achieve in the league, just a mid-table finish. Pretty sure we can do that. And Emirates FA Cup reached around the 32, so they want us to have a little run in the FA Cup. Obviously, money-wise, that'd be great for the team. So we'll give it all we got in the uh, in the FA Cup. See how we do. Okay. Pretty, I'm happy with those objectives, that's fine. Transfer budget, that's increased slightly, I think, from what I've seen. We'll have a quick run through, we'll have a quick look at the squad to see what we're playing with. As I mentioned, that man there, Omar Bogle, he's only rated 59 in the game, I thought he'd be higher than that. He's been brilliant so far this season for, for Grimsby up front, and I probably will have him as my main man. Um, he is, how old is he? He's 22, so he's definitely got potential to grow further, and a five-star weak foot as well, which is really good. Uh, and six foot three, so he's tall, not overly quick, but he's sort of quite a well-rounded striker, really. So, yeah, looking forward to these, using him. Tutan, uh, the other striker, playing a 4-4-2 here. Uh, Voss, he's going to be right wing, being on the left wing. Uh, and another name I know, I think he'll be good for us. Summerfield, is that Luke Summerfield? Oh, hasn't got the name. He's a long passer, though, as a trait, which is good. I'm pretty sure it's Luke Summerfield who's a good lower league player. 28, getting on a bit, but definitely be good for a couple of seasons, I would think. Uh, Com Combley here, 20 years old, from Montserrat. Uh, <laughs> pretty tiny nation, but he's from Montserrat. Comley, he looks okay. Chambers, 21, is that Ashley Chambers? I have to look through the full names, but 26 years old. Yeah, quick, which is good for a winger. At right back is our captain, uh, I think he's Andrew Davis, I think, if I remember correctly. Takes finesse free kicks. Sounds good. Look forward to using that. Again, very well-rounded player, but 35 years old, so probably not going to get much out of him. Gowling in the defence, 32. Right, need to get a younger defender in. Uh, McKeown in goal is 26, not bad age. Um, I've got to go around. Pearson in defence is 27. Looks okay. And Andrew in defence. I've actually got him on my... Um, Ultimate team. I can't think of his first name now. It's it's, it's uh, gone away from me. But yeah, 25 years old. He's okay. We could improve that one. The midfield looks pretty strong. We've got Disley as well. Craig Disley, I think that is. Barrett and McAllis. They're all above 60, which is pretty good for a League Two team. Striker definitely seems to be where we need to improve. This Jackson is only 22, but 55. Not a great rating. We've got Bolorinwa. Collins, who's injured, is uh, 64, which is a bit better than this gown, and he'll probably make way for him when he comes back. Henderson, rate 53. He's only 19 years old, though, so perhaps one. Oh, my days, we've got Vernon. Now, the <laughs> this man is an ex South End striker, Scott Vernon. One of the worst strikers by point we've ever had at the club. Um, right, great. Look forward to using him, 32 years old. Boyce in defence, 62. There's some good players in here for a League 2 club. Oh my days, he looks... How old is he? 40. We've got a 40-year-old keeper. We've got some promising players and then just some... Like, what? Okay, Warrington, I don't think he'll be getting a game. We'll try and sell him if we can. Oh, that's it, that's the team. So it's not a big team. We're definitely going to have to bring some faces in. We've got some money, but we need more money, and we definitely need a striker in this team. So that's going to be the main aim, to get a striker in during this transfer window. We're going to advance through. Obviously, we want to get some gameplay for this first episode, as well as introducing the team. You want to see what the team's like. So we, I guess we put our strongest team in. So in our group, who have we got? We've got Bohemian, St. Patrick's, and Falkenbergs. We should get out in this group, really, I would think. But yeah, should we? St I will stick with this team. We need to bring somebody else in on the defense, on the bench. Sorry, not sure about Jackson. We will put Vernon on the bench, even though, yeah, not sure about him. Uh, probably another defender as well. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So here we go. Not a bad way to start off the Grimsby Town career mode. We're here at the San Siro to play St. Patrick's. Now, I think it'll be a while before we return here, um, other than the pre-season tournament, but not a bad way to kick things off. This is a good time to see. Pretty much, This is pretty much starting 11 at the moment before bringing players in, so it's good to see what we've got and what we can work with 
So we'll kick things off. It's two turns to get us underway. Two Bogle, Grimsby Town. The adventure begins here. Obviously, this is the main man, Bogle. Very tall. I really didn't expect him to be as tall as that. He doesn't look as tall as that in real life, but. Um, let's try and get a run on here. The chance. Long range. It's a goal. Literally two minutes in, and we have our first goal of the Grimsby Town career mode. What a start to the game. That is just brilliant. I mean, just a little simple turn, through ball, and a cracking strike into the bottom corner. No chance for the St. Patrick's keeper. And it's Tootin. The man was just saying, oh, we need a new striker. We need to replace him. And he's cracked one in from there. Immediately answering my uh, <laughs> my calls to get rid of him. Well done, Tootin. Toot, toot. That's got to be the celebration, isn't it? Sean Tootin. Well done. Great start. Every time he scores, two, two, that, that's the celebration. I'm going to press them. Yes. Here's Bogle. Bogle. Shot blocked. Into Bogle. Can you turn? Oh, it's a beautiful turn. Bogle. 2 0. What a start to life as Grimsby Town. And it's the big man. It's the one we wanted. It's Omar Bogle. Oh, we're going to be saying that a lot this season. I can feel it. What a turn. And a great finish into the bottom corner. He's been ruthless in real life. And he is ruthless there. Great finish. Great start to this game. Just what we wanted. Yeah, there he is. There's Gary. Gary's loving it. Look at it. Yes. Not really sure how Gary talks yet, but he's he's definitely happy. Omar Bogle, 35th minute, 2 0. Great start. Yet to really test McKeown. We defended pretty well so far. And a lovely tackle from Luke Seifel, but we can't get away. It is half time. What a first half, though. What a start to the Grimsby Down career mode. There is Gary Burradale. He doesn't look very happy there, but I, I can assure you, he's deep down, he's very happy. Omar Bogle, yeah, maybe not the star of the show. I think Tootin started very well, um, obviously getting the goal. But great stuff. Half-time, Grimsby 2, St. Patrick's Day. Trying to come forward here. That's a great tackle by Luke Summerfield. He looks really good. He looks a calming presence in that midfield. And Bogle, 3 to Tootin. Oh, good chance, Bogle. Angle it back, Tootin, 3 0. Brilliant work between the two strikers. And it's, it's that time again. Ready? Everybody ready? Toot, toot. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm so glad. He's much better than I thought he'd be. The rating doesn't do him justice. What a player. Sean toot, toot, Tootingen has, um, has doubled it up for him for the afternoon. And it's 3 0. Gary, look up, Gary. It's only a pre season tournament, Gary. Calm down. But he's, <laughs> he's very pleased with the start. Sean Tootin has dabbled things up. Well done. Tootingham. Chance of them here. Ooh, dragged wide. That's the first clear chance they've had. And it's Mark, Marky Mark missing the mark again. He missed the mark earlier of the cross, and he's now missed the mark with that shot. Dragged it wide in the end. McKeon had it covered, obviously, but... Uh, and Lee Desmond going off, Keith Treacy coming on. Into Tootin, bad touch, but Bollerim has got the pace, and he will ease past these people. Tackle in, corner ball. Ball in, it's an outswinger, it's coming back in. Dis oh, was that Disley? I'm not sure. Wherever it was, it was angled wide. Oh, it's a very firm challenge. We're just trying to work some space, work it into somebody. Bogle, back out to Davis. Captain Bogle, it's four. It's a brace for both strikers, and it's Omar Bogle who's got the fourth. He didn't want to be upstaged. He's heard all the toots. He's like, no, I'm not going to be upstaged. I'm going to come back and I'm going to get a full for you. 
it's, it's a very simple goal, it's literally an empty net, but he anticipated it well, mistake from St. Patrick's, who have been dreadful, I expect them to be a, a bit better than this, but a lovely easy win for us to start, Omar Bogle has his second, and Grimsby's fourth, great stuff, a little clap for himself, he's pleased, well done Omar Bogle. Tootin's in again. Can he crack one in from long range again? No, it's a big save from the keeper. Nearly a, a tooting, tooting, <laughs> a tooting trouble. <laughs> really sure what I was looking for there. Ball in. Somebody's fallen on the floor. Header straight at the keeper. Pearson nearly got taken off, taken out off the ball. Um, Tootin wins the header. Can we, no, it's not. There's Tootin. He's literally in the way. Okay. Not really sure what happened there. They seem to get in each other's way. Tootin wins it back. Davis. Davis. We've got a chance here if we can get the ball off. We can't. And there's the full-time whistle. It's been a very, very comprehensive victory here. St. Patrick's did not offer up much at all. There's Gary Borrowdale shaking hands with St. Patrick's boss. Great start for him as manager. The board will be loving him after that. A very easy win. And Omar Bogle and Sean Toot Toot Tootin um, <laughs> were the stars of the show. They've won the game for us today, but a very good all-round performance from the team. It's finished. It's a San Siro Grimsby 4, St. Patrick's nil. So having a look at the stats there, 11 shots to 2. They had more possession, ridiculously. I didn't feel as though they did, but um, yeah, 11 shots to 2. Very comprehensive uh, win as I said um, now around the match I will be doing similar to what I did with Madeira I will be awarding a player of the season and I'll go for our, our handout our one two three. I don't do it in the pre-season tournament though this doesn't count but as you can see Sean Tutin to toot, 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 uh just beating Omar Bogle 9.6 to 9.5 for this one I probably I probably would have given it to him just about uh, Bogle second I think Summerfield he only got 7.6 but he for me very good display from him. I like the look of him. Um, we'll get some more training done before we get into the next game. And great stuff. Look at that. Comley has grown up. Grown up. <laughs> He's grown to 62. Uh, Bogle is well, is still on his way to 60. And Henderson went up to 54 as well. Good stuff from them. Three players. That's what we like to see. Good growth. So, next game against Falconbugs, who also won their game, so this might be a bit more of a test for this one. Got something in the office. It's Henderson. Dean Henderson has said, Hi, Bosh. I was hoping you might be experimenting with the squad and give me a chance to play. He's actually Sean Connery's son, Dean Henderson. <laughs> um, so, 19 year old Dean Henderson wants a game. I'm going to give him a game. He, he's grown in the training. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. Obviously, it's just pre-season. We want to we want to get an idea of what everybody's about. I think we're all set. We are ready to go into this second game of the episode. Obviously, started off well. Tootin and Bogle getting races apiece. Falkenbergs did get a win. They beat Bohemians 1-0. Okay, so hopefully we can get a second win here, and then we can sim the final go. game. It is game two of the European International Cup. We're against the Swedish side Falkenbergs for this pre-season tournament um, game. Obviously kicked off with a brilliant 4-0 win against St. Patrick's. We just need to back it up now. It's a completely different team. They didn't show you the team, which is annoying, but <laughs> it is completely different. Except Andrew at left-back. He's the only one that's stayed in because we don't have another left-back. Scott Vernon and Kay Jackson. I don't even know his first name, but Jackson. Vernon and Jackson will get us underway. Hopefully we can get a second win and then... Sim that third final game of the tournament, of the group stage, sorry. We we'll worked into Scott Vernon. He is a good hold-up man. Hopefully we'll see that from him. Uh, work back to Bollerin. We're not sure why he's not on the right wing. Jackson will turn. Jackson will shoot. It's a good save from the keeper. Nice turn and shot from Jackson there. That's what we want to see. Yeah, it's a decent save. It's, he's not going to be scoring on a shot like that, but decent. This game sort of a little bit dead at the moment, halfway through the first half. Not really, except that Jackson chance had much going on. And Jackson just <laughs> didn't want to pass there. Um, <laughs> okay. 
Harry to Scott Vernon here, just ticking into half time and it's been a very poor game, but that's a lovely ball. Jackson is through and scores on the half time whistle. I was just saying this game's been really bad and Jackson's brought it to life. Great stuff, Gumsy fans are loving it here at the I guess the Stadio Olimpico we're at. And it's a great ball through. I think it was, I'm not sure if it was Barry or McAllister, but a cracking ball to find Jackson in space. And he does finish really well past the keeper. On the stroke of half time, great time to score. Gary Burrowdell loving it. And it is Caden Jackson with his first goal under Gary Burrowdell's managerial reign. Great stuff from him. And that, that is the halftime whistle. Last kick of the half. Caden Jackson has put us in front. A really a really dull first half. But it's been brought to life by that man. Caden Jackson. Well done here. He's the only one who had a shot otherwise. And um, he's, he's done the business thanks to a great pass. Falkenberg's nil. Good to take one. Here they come again. Trying to get some rip pick. Oh, no. No, he's lost it. No, he's lost it. Oh, that is a great covering challenge. Get rid of it. There we go. Brilliant last ditch challenge. Falkenbergs haven't really shown much going forward, but they nearly got in there. Great tackle to stop them. And can we get away on a counter attack? We might be able to if we can set Bonarenwa away. He should have the pace, and he's got past his man. Can he put it in the bottom corner? He's put it in the top corner. <laughs> I was trying, I swear I didn't put that much power in, but it's 2 0. And it's Bonarenwa, the speed demon himself, who's got past his man superbly and finished. Absolutely beautifully. No chance for the keeper. Look at that. Swir just just curves in with the finesse. Great stuff. Gary Burrowdale, look at him. Ugh, get in there. That's what he's saying. Gary likes it. Bottorimba likes it. I like it. Tom Bottorimba. 2 0 to Grimsby. That's more like it. That was a good goal. On the counter as well. Oh, that's a great ball. Scott Vernon for free. Now it's deflected wide. Ah, oh, Scott Vernon. <laughs> it was a decent try. It's a really good block, to be fair to the defender. Covers the uh, covers the ground well. Here come the subs. Uh, Nazari on for Quakwa. Qu <laughs> for them. And our two subs. Here they are. It's uh, Sean Pearson and Josh Fenny for James Berry and Danny Andrew. That's well. Ooh, nearly got the ball into Jackson as well. We'll turn again here. Have a crack. Not a bad strike. Good save from the keeper. From is Max Pratt? I'm not sure what his first name is, but the pet, he's only rated 48. But not a bad strike. Straight at the keeper. Palmed away. Corner. Now, I haven't... Actually, no, I have scored a corner in, in FIFA 17. It'd be good to get one first one in career mode. Not like that. That's a great ball. Completely spit apart. Good block, Dean Henderson collects. Is that going to be it? I think it will. And there we go. <laughs> Dean Henderson, a kick there, meant nothing. Full time whistle has gone. Grimsby Town get back to back wins under Gary Burrowdale. And just saying there, as, as the game finished, I said they didn't offer up offer up much in attack. They literally offered nothing. They they had zero shots literally come back they literally had zero shots in that game that's unbelievable i can't believe i can't remember the last time i played anybody and they had zero shots zero shots for bugs five for us two of them were on target and those two goal and those two shots went in man of the match if you're interested went to sean McAllister. as i said very impressive in that midfield controlled it looks sort of the experienced professional that he is and uh, yeah we've got four bits in the office which we will check out we've got scout reports on Azaro, Botti, Biabi and Kwesi Appiah player conversation Dean Henderson uh, Frank Sparsh it was really great to be given the opportunity to play um, no problem to our Sean Connery sound alike um, yeah we'll have a look at those and see anybody good Kwesi Appiah 65 14 grand a week. 
Okay, we won't be buying Cressiapia anytime soon. Uh, a little bit of time with Devante Cole yet. Uh, Joel Asaro is 63 rated, and Biabi only 59. Okay, well, yeah, definitely not interested in the BRB then, but maybe take Joel Asaro on loan. 63 rated is pretty good. Good pace, dribbling, finishing's okay, 64, shot power 66. We'll wait to see what we get back with Devante Cole, but yeah, possibly could be the signing there. Because we should be comfortably through. Uh, yep, we'll advance, sim this. Uh, oh, miss. Oh, Morris missed penalty for them, but they scored. Went one 0 up. Skip through a two-all draw. So that sees us safely through. We top the group. Good stuff. Uh, the goals coming from Dean Elliott must have equalised for us. Comley then came off the bench and put us in front before uh, Kelly got the equaliser for them with six minutes to go. Fine. Good draw. The other game, Falkenberg, as you can see, they're beating St Patrick's. So next episode, hopefully semi-final and final, if we make it, obviously we've got to make it there, um, but semi-final, final, and then, so if we lost the semi-final, we'd, we'd, do, we'd do that, we'd do Hartlepool, and we'd probably do the Wigan game as well, but hopefully we'll get to the final, so it would be semi-final, final, and we'll kick off the league season against Hartlepool. Um, so yeah, that's all to look forward to in the next episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode, a couple of wins a draw in the game we didn't play. Not a bad start for Gary Burrowdale and his men. If you have enjoyed the video, then please do drop a like on it. If you're if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe. Grimsby Town Career Mode. We've got other career modes. Have a look at my career mode announcement video. I'll link that in the description so you can have a look at that one to see who else I'm going to be playing with. There's a lot more to come on the channel as well. Um, there'll be some Ultimate Team. There'll be some Pro Clubs. I'll be streaming this sort of stuff as well. So go to my Twitch channel. That'll be in the link. That'll be in the description as well. Uh, Tibbin27 is the name on there. Try and stream a couple of times a week usually. And I update when I'm going to stream on Twitter. At Tibbin27 again. Link in the description so you can follow me on there for all the updates. Uh, but that's it for this first episode of the Grimsby Town Road to Glory Career Mode. Join me next time. But for now, it is Tibbin27. Out. <laughs>